Hey guys, welcome back to a new video in which we are going to build a video calling app using Zigo Cloud SDK. So with this SDK, you can implement video calling, voice calling, messaging, and so many more things. And definitely you want to have this voice and video calling feature if you are building some sort of social networking app like an Instagram clone or so, you definitely want to have this to make that app even better. So here is Zigo Cloud, which provides us a voice and video chat API that we can use in our app. And thanks for them also for sponsoring this video. Now let's see the app that we are going to build. So simply here is the app, it's really simple, but now we are focusing on implementing the voice and video call feature. So here's the first device, which is a Samsung, and then here's my uh, Pixel 7 here as well. So in my Pixel 7, I'm logged in with one user, and I can call, maybe I have an O in here, but I can call the second user, which is two. But in my Samsung, I am logged in with two, and I can call one. So in your app, basically you want to have some login system in which you save users' IDs or you generate them somehow. The user ID could also be their phone number, like WhatsApp, for example. And uh, yeah, for this app, my username or my user ID is two, and then in this other like device, it's one. So now what I'm going to do is try calling two. So with a video call like this, as you can see, now I'm calling two. And if I go here, I immediately get this notification that one is calling and I can either refuse or accept that. Let's accept it. And the video call is actually working in real time. Here is my hand somewhere around. Here's my microphone. But you get a lot of features. Like if we just click on it, you can switch the camera. You can turn off video if you want. You can turn off microphone. And uh, yeah, let's actually switch the camera and then let's see. But let's see in the other device in the Samsung. As you can see, now the camera is switched and here is actually that Samsung. So yeah, that's how the app actually looks like. And in Zigo Cloud, you don't only get these two features which are voice call and video call, you get a lot more and we can see that. So as you can see here, you get video call, voice call, live stream, in-app chat and so many other things. And now what we are interested in is this video call feature and also voice call at the same time. And I will show you how to get 10,000 minutes free. So if you are just learning or this is just for experimental purposes, you have access to 10,000 minutes free that you can use. And then if your app is a production app, then you can exceed that by actually paying. So anyway, the first thing you want to do is actually create an account right here. So you want to go to sign up and then you just want to fill this with your information and then create an account. It's very simple. So it's the dashboard, I already have a project, which is this one, and then you can set up a new project. But here, as you can see, I have access to 10,000 minutes in my video call, and I only used one minute, as you can see. So we have a lot of minutes that we can use for experimental or learning purposes. Now let's go to the documentation and see more of this SDK that we can use. And here are all the features that we get from video call, voice call, they said, live streaming, in-app chat, AI stuff, and so many things that you can do. And we'll use the UI case to implement the voice and video call features and to also get those 10,000 minutes. Now we want to select a video call for our case. And then here it is, we can go to call kit to get to the documentation. We want this quick start with call invitation right here. And then we get the documentation. So the first thing we want is these two lines. Let's just copy them. And then we want to go to our settings.gradle. But since my Gradle is in Kotlin, this actually would generate some errors. We just want to write this in Kotlin. And let me first create some space down here. And it will just look something like this. So it's really the same thing, but in Kotlin. We can sync. And then we want to add the dependency. And since it's also not in Kotlin, but still we can go to our build.gradle and let's create some space down here and then we can have it right here. So we just want to convert this to Kotlin like this and then sync like this. That's it. We can then start building and it's really simple. So let's go to our main activity in which we have one screen. First we want to delete this greeting screen or composable, delete all of this and then create just the usernames that I will be logged in. So val color is going to be, for example, one, and not like this, but val receiver is two. So these are the user IDs I'm going to use. And of course, in your case, you do want to have some login system. If you are building some social networking app like Instagram or so. And then one thing to know is that when we accept a call, what this SDK does is it starts a new activity in which that call exists. And that activity needs a little bit of a different theme in our app. So we want to go right here. And in themes, we just want to change the theme 
so that it works with the activity that will be launched and that is going to be theme which is this one dot material components and here i'm going to use day night dot action bar so this is the theme and the app will still work just great and then let's go back to the documentation as we will see right here if we are targeting sdk 33 and after or above then we want this permission this is for now written in java it's not updated yet and with Android Studio, we can already uh, convert Java to Kotlin pretty easy. So I can create this section private fun. Let's call it permission, for example. And then we can just paste this. Do we want to convert this to Kotlin? We click on yes. And maybe I have the same name with the function. So I just want to rename that. Import permissions like this. We need an instance of our activity that can be this, but this takes a fragments activity and I have a component activity so I just want to change this to fragments activity and don't worry if we go to our fragments activity it extends component activities so it's really the same thing okay now we have no errors let me just clean this and I will explain what this exactly does because it's been converted and this permission is for when you for example quit the app you still get a little window in which you have that that video calls so I suppose in WhatsApp and other platforms you get it that when you quit the app you still see the person you call with a little window in which you have that video call okay so it's really for that so this is displaying over other apps so that we can see that window over other apps and definitely if you don't want this permission then you can not use it if you want to but one other thing I forgot to actually mention we need the app compact library for the activity that will be launched so that's also needed so we can go to our version catalogs and paste it like this and here is the version so we just need this app compact sync and that's it we want to know when we actually granted or didn't grant the permission so here we have a little lambda that is on granted for example yeah that is a lambda like that and then if all granted then call on granted okay like this so we have this lambda function so now let's go back here and then let's call that right after this enable h to h so say if build dot like this actually so let me just import build and maybe i don't know what sdk i'm targeting let me just see so i mean sdk okay let's make it 26 actually not 34 and so if the sdk is greater or equal to tiramisu which is 33 then we want to call our permissions function like this and then we'll have another function called init in which we want to initialize our zero cloud SDK. Else, if we are not if we are not in SDK 33, then we can call init directly like this. Okay. So let's create that function. Private fun init or initialize. That's what it stands for. We want to go to the documentation again, and then we want to copy this. So this is how I initialize it. Let me just paste that. It's for now in Java, which means I will just actually repaste it, but in Kotlin. And here it is. And I will show you where to get this app ID and app sign. So to get them, we want to go to our profile. I don't know what it is, maybe somewhere right here. And then we want to click on our projects or let's create a new project. Definitely want to use voice call and you can choose anything else like live streaming or whatever you want to have. Now I want voice and video call. We want to click on next. We want to give it a name, so let's call it Zigo Cloud. YouTube for example and we should not have an empty space or so something like this and here are the SDKs that you get so we want to use the UI kits in our case so the UI kits actually does everything for us so it makes it really simple as you can see with less than 10 lines of code and it's really very few lines of code we can implement that but if you want to use the SDK which is a lot more customizable and we get so much control over it so if you want to have that control on on everything, you want to use this. In my case, I'm just going to show you now how to do that video and voice call with UI kits. Of course, you get the 10,000 minutes, but with SDKs, you can actually customize that as you want. So let's use the UI kits in our case, since we don't want any customization, we just want to have that feature. It's creating the project. And then here we can click on start your app. So we want to go for Android like this. Here we have one-on-one -on -one call. We definitely can also choose a group call. As you can see, you get a bunch of people calling. And here we have call invitations. So we can actually send a call invitation. So it shows that notification to accept or refuse a call. We get some standard face beautification, which is something you can 
disable or enable as you want you have more features but these are paid features so you want to pay to get these like screen sharing and so on we want to click on save and start integrate here you get an app id and an app sign but don't show these to anyone anyway if you click on the quick start you go to the documentation again so as you can see we come to the documentation and uh, what we want to do is copy this app id and app sign so app id right here app sign right here that's it my app sign i'm just going to put a zero so i remove the arrow but i seem to still have an arrow so it requires long we just add an l and the arrow is gone so how is the app going to look like it's simple we have two texts and two buttons that's it and uh, as i said our focus is to implement the features of calling not exactly the app uh, in your app you want to have some login system as i already said in which you want to have some generated user ids and stuff okay and it's not these these are app id and app signs so you don't auto generate this but the user id in which now i just hard coded right here so i have this color and uh, yeah so the user id is color and username is also color and i pass them right here and in your case you want to generate them somehow or the user enters an id you want to make sure that that id doesn't exist in your database so that the id is unique or the id could be a phone number and that is already unique so that's how it goes and of course we'll use this receiver we want to send the invitation the call invitation so however let's now start building the app let's create that in a different composable i mean not the app but the screen so compose like this screen let's call it screen like this and then let's call it from here screen great and we just have a column with a bunch of things so column and that take some modifier dot finmax size we want to have the horizontal alignment alignment dot center horizontally and vertical arrangement arrangement dot center we want to have a text that just says hello color and let's make it big so font size let's say 20 sp maybe it's not even big enough 24 or 25 so it's kind of big we want to create another text so you just copy this and then let's say for example you can call but now receiver the one that you want to call let's have a little bit of space spacer height 16 import dp and since we are using the ui kit everything is pre-built for us which means we already get buttons that send those call invitations but of course if you use sdks you get a complete customization abilities in which you can customize this as you want in our case we are using ui kits in which we have things pre-built and since this is built with let me just copy this since this ui is pre-built with xml we want to use underwood view for this so we can do underwood view but it's really simple the factory in which we have now our view like this let's give it some modifiers to give it some size so modifier modifier dot size and this is 15 dot dp so of course this is i don't know what it is this is the first button and that is going to be a z go send maybe or yeah z go send call invitation button so this is the view that we are going to use that needs the context which is it for example and then dot apply here we definitely can customize our button as we want let's say set his video cost so that's true for the second one it will be actually false and then resource id is going to be this one that we have in our documentation which is this one so this is the button actually that we are building right now but since now we are using jetpack compose it's like this and then set invities like this that is a list of if we have a group of people so that's going to be a ziggo ui kit user and that is our receiver for both the username and what else so the username and uh, user id and username okay we have an error so where's error honestly i'm not sure why it says it needs a view but i don't know if i should just update my version of compose or well, it's because it didn't yes i didn't use that app compact actually that's the problem so let's go right here and let's just paste it so our app compact like this yeah now the error is gone so that was the error we want the second button for just a voice call and the only thing is that this one is going to be false definitely you can customize this as you want so you can just for example call set and you have access to many things like what you want to do in the on click listener if you want to do something before actually doing the call you have a bunch of things like some colors text i don't know if you can set the image i really didn't experiment that but you have things that you can actually try by yourself you have a lot 
and you can get complete customization with the other thing which is SDK, but now we're using the UI toolkit. So yeah, now that's how the UI is going to look like, two texts and two buttons. Of course, in the first app, I want to be logged in with one, and then the one I want to send the call invitation to is actually two, the, or the second user. In the second device, I would be logged in with two, and then I want to send the invitation to one. So it's just I swap them. Now let's actually run the app, but first let me enter my app ID and app sign right here. So here they are. Now I did actually enter them. Now let's just actually open here. This is the old app. Let's just close that. And let's run the new app. Now I'm logged in with, let's see, one. And I'm trying to call two. So let's do that. We immediately ask for the display over other apps permission. Let's accept that maybe it's this one, I suppose. And they can't see the text, so I have to put some color. Let's say material theme. This color scheme dot on background. Yeah, now we can see the text. It's going to be the same for this one. As you can see, hello one, you can call two. And now this is it for here. We want to go and swap the, these two, so the color now will be two, and the receiver will be one and we want to select our Samsung device, so my other device, run the app on it so that let's also first have it right here so we can see it. Run the app on it so that we can call the other device, which is the Pixel. Okay, this is now on the Samsung in which we are logging with two, we can call one. Let's just close everything and let's see if I make this big. So here is the Pixel and here is the Samsung. Now what I'm going to do is try calling from the Samsung to the Pixel or the opposite. So let me call it like this. We need to accept some permission. And now let's go to the Pixel. Here we get that little notification. We can accept it. We Let's give it the camera and microphone permissions and it's actually working. Let's go back to the Samsung. Let's also allow that, yes. Let's take now the pixel and let's switch the camera to the front camera. So yeah, now it's switched and that is my laptop, which means it's just working great. Everything is working. Now what I'm going to do is call in the other device, so the other user from my pixel to the Samsung. Okay, so now I'm logged in with one on my pixel, I want to call two, so let's do that. Here we go, let's go to that Samsung and I get this little notification, let's accept that and it is actually working okay so everything is great we can also use only a voice call so from the Samsung now so this is now only a voice call and here we get it now we are in a voice call as you can see so that feature is working just great and as expected now let's see pricings of Zigo cloud if we go to pricing and plans we can see all the pricings of course if you exceed that 10,000 minutes that you get for free and then you want more here are the pricings, 0 0.99 for a thousand minutes for voice call, 3.99 for a thousand minutes in a video call, and you get more things like live streaming and so on. Okay, so these are the pricings. And of course, also, if you only choose video call, you get more stuff. Like if you want to have a really great quality, like 4K or 2K, you can definitely choose that, but with different prices, of course, since these are different packages, you can say. But in our case, we are just using the free 10,000 minutes and we can add projects, use those. And so that's how it works. And now we came to the end of this video in which we built an app that has a real time video and voice call in future. And as you can see how simple it is, you don't need to know anything. Zero Cloud already does everything for you and you get 10,000 minutes for free. If you are interested, you find all the links below. You find also this project in the description if you want to copy any piece of code from it. So see you in the next video and bye.